Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a showcase on my Sab Sabaton Primo Victoria tank. Now, uh, I'm not going to be playing the song or anything, so uh, um, hopefully I won't get copyrighted or anything like that, right? So, um, yeah, I guess we'll just start off this showcase here. And now, I got this tank as close as I could um, within my skill level, but you see, the thing is, I made this when I was a new player, and I've really developed it from then, and now it has a lot more motor lock, a lot better looking speakers, and everything about it is just so much better. But the one thing that I did right was probably the exhaust. When I was a newbie, I actually did something right with exhaust. Now I kind of have barely noticeable kind of bad exhaust. Uh, that's not really the point. Um, I have working side skirts, but the thing, like, the wheels can tuck behind the, behind it, with, um, since I'm using a half piston to push it out just, just barely enough. Um, so, yeah, I have a pretty well working tank, and probably will be able to teach you guys a few things, and designs on stuff I did back then and now, but... Just yesterday, I did some texture painting on this, and I really like how it looks. And I kind of needed something to make me want to keep it, because right then, it was looking bad. The only thing about it was that it was good in PvP. I used to have TNT armor on this. I got rid of that, because I don't do TNT armor anymore. I only have it on one tank nowadays, and that tank is soon to be deleted. It used to have a showcase on this channel, it was my Leopard 2 A6. I decided to delete the showcase as it was not very proper. Now, um, to get into more, we have working machine guns and a coax. So um, there's a seat you can sit in for that, and there's a hatch, as well as an interior. This tank is not to scale, so you know, um, I will get into the interior a little bit. There is a pontoon acting as a scope or a periscope, and the clutch braking levers, even though this thing has a twin transmission, I'm pretty sure. And we have an engine. Just an old design, looks pretty good. Hide some speakers. Um, here's our turret ring. Uh, you can't really get up into the, well you can, but there's not an interior. Not a designed interior, anyway, to this turret. Anyways, moving on. Um, we've got an armament of one rocket as well, on top of the guns. And in the back, I have a guitar and the med, med kit, because those are the two things I could actually fit into the rack. And, uh, yeah, we go a top speed of 95. It's pretty fun for that. Like, it's it's realistic, and it's pretty fun to use, and it's also got some pretty good lights. And I will be showing them right now. Only problem is... That so I just developed these a little while ago. I think that I, I did good making them look good. And, um, yeah. Only thing is that, um, for a while I didn't actually have a sa uh, Sabaton Roblox I ID, but now I do, and now I play it on the tank. Of course, it has stuff locked out so that it's not, like, copyrighted or anything like that. Nothing's wrong with it. Sadly, I can't really put the audio in the description. Anyways, um... I think that we should allow ourselves to go to PvP so that we can test this tank. Now that I've showed you about everything about it that doesn't have to do with its combat capabilities. I spent longer than I intended to just trying to uh, look around here. Um, that guy just had a really good looking Tiger too, so I'm like, dude, this is amazing. He even had an interior. So, um... Yeah, shout out to him if he's ever watching this video, or um, if you see this man in PvP. Awesome builder. Anyways, moving on. I guess we have to shoot at him. For content. Wait, can he even- he can fight back. 
but not very well. Uh, we'll let the ammo rack. Blow up the ammo rack. Oh. Okay. My engine just got hit. I guess since we're not in my plain crazy Discord server or PvP private server, it doesn't matter that much. This man's good. He's got a really good tank. Even for PvP and what seems to be manual controls, he's doing really well. Alright, I'm gonna spawn in one more time, see how long we live, get an idea for how this tank will perform. That is really laggy, unfortunately. Oh, wait, I must be so laggy that it decreases, like, their frame rate or how they see me. Oh, that's why they're not fighting back that much. It's not them lagging. Okay. The only problem is that this cannot survive the harsh wrath of shredders. But what do you expect from a tank like this, right? Well, it's really fun to have, so, uh, yeah, I hope this was inspirational, and, um, I'll just give you guys a few, a few building tips, maybe, even, with this, right now. Now, for once, I actually have a surprisingly low amount of motor lock, but, um, yeah, um, here's the premise. I motor locked a bunch of bits into the turret, and on that motor lock stack, I put in the rack and the gun and stuff like that. Um, ERA. This is something that a lot of people need to learn, and I'll do a tutorial on it eventually. Actually, that's going to be the tomorrow's video. Actually, um, that's a good idea. Hmm. All right, and I'll work on teaching how to make good machine guns. And the premise of that. And, uh, yeah, that should be everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, wait, one more thing. Oh, um, Discord server. I have a link to it in the description. You can go and visit that, and using Blocks Link, you can verify, but you don't have to use Blocks Link. You can personally verify with me if you have difficulty with Blocks Link. And I got comments like, I, oh, Blocks Link is a hassle. I don't want to, I, please fix it. It is fixed. If people have issues, I'll just manually, manually verify them. But not everybody needs that. So, um, yeah. Pretty much why I have that is because there's a private server and you're verifying for the private server. And, um, no shredders are allowed here. Nothing. It's all realistic builds. And we're gonna go for Cold War and World War Two, and we're gonna go on and off in days, um, due to my original ideas right now. It might change. But, um, yeah, be sure to join. We don't have that many people yet, but when we do have a lot of people, hopefully it'll be a really nice PvP server. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.